Today I'm going to show you how to remove an existing pump from between the two pump flanges. Uh, we'll take it out, we'll put new flange gaskets on the pump, and we'll put it back in. Basically all you'll need for this is an 11 16 inch wrench, and a little bit of liquid soap, and I'll show you what that's used for in just a minute. So the first thing obviously you want to do is shut off the power to the pump. After you shut the power off and you make sure that you don't have any electricity going to it, Next thing you want to do is close your service valves. And then what you want to do is you want to loosen the nuts and bolts from the pump flanges. Now you don't want to loosen them all the way because there's going to be a little bit of pressure built up inside the pipe to the pump. You might want to have a bucket underneath the pump somewhere on the floor to let some of the water drain into. There shouldn't be much. Again, if you don't have isolation valves, you'll have to drain your boiler before you do this. So we'll loosen these. Just loosen them a little bit and your pump will probably start to drip or leak a little bit and after there's no pressure on it, then we can undo the flange bolts. And you can save them and reuse them or if you ordered a new pump and it comes with flange bolts uh, and gaskets you can use the new ones if you'd like. In most cases you don't have to remove the flanges that are part of the pipe uh, if they're in good shape and you're replacing the identical pump. Obviously I'm remo removing a brand new pump so it's going to be a little bit easier for me. Some will be sticky or rusty but you're not going to hurt anything taking the old pump out because you're going to be replacing it with a new one anyways. But you just want to twist and turn it a little bit. You might have to lift up on the top flange of the pipe a little bit because sometimes it sags. Just lift it up a little bit and pull it straight out. And the gaskets fell off of this one. Now we'll just pretend that I'm going to put in the brand new one, which I'll use the same pump. And you always want to use a new pair of flange gaskets, never use the old ones. And basically what you want to do here is you want to take the flange gasket and you want to put it in the groove of the pump and press it in place. And of course you do it on both sides. Make sure that they're flush and flat and they shouldn't fall out. All right, now what you want to do is you want to put a little dab of soap on your finger and just run it around the face of the rubber gasket. And what this is going to do is it's going to make it just slippery enough to slide it in between the flanges because some of these are really tight fit. So we get a little bit of soap on there. Now make sure you put the pump back in exactly the way you take it out. If you plan on changing the pump body in any different direction, make sure you check your flow arrow and make sure you put it to the correct flow. So now we'll take this and we'll set it in place down on the bottom and we'll lift up a little bit on the top pipe. Try to get that flange gasket to get in there and slide a little bit. And then try to evenly slide it between the flanges, taking your time and the soap will help you. And just keep checking your flange gaskets to make sure that you're not kinking them or folding them over or anything. Make sure that they stay in the grooves. And then lift up the pipe a little bit if you have to. Just take your time working it into place. And then once you get it into place, what you want to do is make sure that your flanges Line up real nice. And then just drop your bolts in. And we'll just get it centered before we tighten them. And make sure everything is aligned right. The bolts can go in any direction as long as you can bolt it down. It doesn't really matter how the bolts go in. Now 
Now the key to tightening the nuts and bolts on your flanges, after you've got them lined up and just right, you want to hand tighten them as tight as you can hand tighten them. And then what you want to do is you want to take your wrench. These ears on these on these pump flanges are very fragile, so you don't want to over tighten them. You just want to make sure that you compress the rubber gasket just a little bit so it doesn't leak. And if you turn on the water your pump and it starts to leak a little bit, just give them another little quarter turn. So when we tighten, about one, one and a half turns just to snug it down. Snug. They're not going to seem very tight. Just snug. Just enough to compress the gasket. That's it. Open up your ball valves or isolation valves. Check for leaks. And then do your electrical. You're all set to go.